Beck is always dragging me around to do absurd challenges and hikes. But this one is said to be the most difficult yet. She suggested we attempt to climb North Africa's highest peak in less than 24 hours. We are leaving our comfy van behind for hours of steep vertical climbing, negative 10 degree weather, and altitude sickness. <laughs> I'm moving so slow. It's very hard to breathe. She's gonna call this fun. Oh, hell no! So I always do this thing where I sign us up for crazy adventures. We are always ill prepared. I'm just having a rough time this morning. Yeah. With snot and everything, you know? It's the morning of another big adventure. Let's go, baby. <laughs> Apparently, we need crampons. Uh. <laughs> Back in 2020, Eamon, Lee, and I were on our way to summit Mount Tupco, which is the highest peak in all of North Africa. That was just days before the pandemic hit, so we figured we had to make the most of our time in Morocco and make the summit this time. We contacted Nate, who was in Greece. I feel honored that I've been invited. <laughs> <laughs> and he flew all the way here to summit with us. You ready, babe? I'm ready. <laughs> we need some essentials, like a jacket and gloves. And I want some long johns, my first pair ever. Mask. Mask, thank you. I think we need a backpack. Definitely need some gloves. I'm gonna go heavy duty. Next stop is the most important for me, healthy food for the trek. Oh, heaven on earth. Ah. <laughs> Hi, YouTube. Ah. Best find at that place was the ginger turmeric shots we all need. Cheers to a good day. Cheers. Mm. I poured myself a double. <laughs> That's super palatable, no? Oh. <laughs> I'm gonna drive because Eamon's not feeling his best. He's gonna sleep in the back. Got Nate in my passenger. Karen, I came to Morocco in 2016 and drove into the Atlas Mountains just like this. But it's so different being on a tour versus doing it yourself. This feels like much more of an adventure. We've made it, Jackie! Whoop, whoop! Hey! hey. Kind of house. I missed you guys! <laughs> Nate, nice to meet you. Hi, Lizzie. Nice to meet Lizzie, you. Nice to meet. We figured it'd be great training for our lungs if we played a game of soccer with some locals. So, here goes nothing. Oh boy. <laughs> Uh, I don't know how all these kids know this, but they were multiplying by the second. They're just coming all out of all the little houses. <laughs> they're showing up to play. They kicked us off the court, though. I know. I don't think they're, I think they're gonna show us. Yeah, we definitely parked on their field yeah, here. Right in the middle of it, huh? Mm -hmm. Couple of dicks. <laughs> I'm trying to take a nap in here. These kids are. Running around, jumping on the van. It's hard to sleep when you think someone's messing about. I don't think they know I'm in here, so it might scare them. Yeah, he can't see me. This kid's really mischievous, this one. Lizzie busted him. Lizzie, I've been filming them the whole time. What? I've been filming them the whole time. <laughs> yeah. We thought you were over there sleeping. No, they're, they're mischievous. <laughs> For some reason, this van is messier than when we were with Larry. Can I move some of my stuff? Um, 
You're like a mind reader, my guy. <laughs> so this rug, this is me. <laughs> yeah, um, the rug is really, really nice. And then we're gonna put down two yoga mats and this thing, which is broken. But <laughs> it'll add a little bit. And we can do our sleeping mat as like a pillow top and then a sheet. I think it's gonna be nice. Oh wow. We are hoping that tomorrow brings clear nasal congestion and fresh energy. Ready to climb a mountain. Right, Nathan? I'm ready to climb a mountain. Hopefully not alone. <laughs> it's the morning of the hike, and we've got Eamon, sick as a dog, in bed. No, I'm feeling a little better. But I think I need one more day, realistically. I have to fly out on the 10th, which is in like two days from now, so I don't have the luxury of waiting it out in the van for another day. I came to Morocco planning on hiking alone. I got to spend a little extra time with Eamon and Beck that I expected, and now I'll go hike the mountain alone. Oh, I'm so excited! Back to the original it. expectations. <laughs> oh. Bye, Nathan. Hey, Eamon. Hope you feel better. Feeling kind of guilty that I sent Nate up the mountain by himself, but he says he's okay. So our plan for the next two days is to just get healthy. We're gonna eat lots and lots of really good food, have Eamon rest as much as possible, and get a little bit of light movement in, stretching. You know, we haven't done a hike in a long time. So we'll catch you when Nate gets back. Nathan. Yeah, it was great. Oh, my, my legs are wrecked. Uh, this is all food I didn't eat. Wow. You don't need near as much food as I no? took, it okay. turns out. The one benefit of Nate hiking without us is we can get his mm, expertise. expertise on what to bring. We have our first, our, our bag that we bought is 50 liters. We got the two sleeping bags. It fits just two sleeping bags. Nate, do we need sleeping bags? It's questionable. They have blankets. But if there's too many people, then they don't have blankets. No. no I'm gonna bring this, and then my raincoat. Babe, if I don't bring that sweater, I'm gonna be freezing. Okay. I'm, look so, at me, if I don't bring a sweater. I don't have enough clothing, because this is what I have. And this is why we hike. Peanut butter? On the mountain. I feel like this could be the move, but. For breakfast, I think. Cost oh. analysis on the weight? Should I put it into a Ziploc? Guide might not know what this is. <laughs> <laughs> All packed. Last meal before the big climb. Nate, you're coming up again tomorrow. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers, everybody. Last Cheers. supper. Cheers. 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 Protein. <laughs> Learning bud. Good morning. It's four degrees outside, so I thought I'd show you how we're gonna layer up. Tank and undies, merino wool top, merino wool leggings. Layer three, outerwear. We've got a beanie, we've got a down jacket. And we've got hiking boots. Never, and I mean never forget a full roll of toilet paper right in that jacket pocket. The snot just comes pouring out. Hello. Good morning. Good morning, Chicky. Good morning. You guys ready to hike today? Of course. Woohoo. Morning, Bobby. You ready to do this? Okay, Jackie, come on. Up, up. Coming. Okay, <laughs> all aboard. Perfect! <laughs> Looks cozy back there. <laughs> Mohammed is going to be our guide for the next two days and going to summit the mountain with us. He's driving us up to the checkpoint, which is at an elevation of 1,950 meters. On the way, we're going to the little town of Imlil. Oh, look at this service right here. Wow. Nice. This is why I don't plan things in advance. It doesn't get better than this. Uh, Love you, buddy. Love you, Nate. Thanks for the invite, guys. It's been fun. <laughs> See you, dude. Even though you didn't climb the mountain with yeah. me. No hard feelings. Thanks for paving the way for us. <laughs> you know how they say everything happens for a reason? I feel like we were meant to hike today. The energy levels coming out of this car are... Oh, Canada. Okay, let's hear the German national anthem now. <clears throat> Das Boot ins High ins Fixen. I think Eamon's feeling better. That's one way to wake up in the morning! Oh my god! Oh, he's crazy! He's a crazy man. Is anybody wearing a seatbelt? Nope. He's so nervous right now! Oh my gosh! Slow down, please! Oh my god, oh my god! Oh, we should have just walked this part. Yeah. We have made it to the start of the hike where they're checking our passports and we're meeting up with the Swedish House Mafia. The Summit Squad consists of... Aaron. Anton Thorin. Harold. Olaf. Lizzie. Jackie. Mohammed. Back. Anna Maiman. 
Let's do this. It's 10.30 a.m. and we're just beginning the hike. By this time tomorrow, we will have summited North Africa's highest peak, baby! Hopefully. Whew. I'm out of breath just saying that. <laughs> <laughs> so we might be going up a group of eight, but the Swedes have a special way they're getting down tomorrow. <laughs> I might join them. Oh, I wish I could join them. All right, we're going up. <laughs> I personally love challenges like this. Eamon and I did a few circuits in the Himalayas in Nepal, the Annapurna circuit, as well as Gokyori. And I'm always sort of dragging Eamon along. But if you bring friends, Heyman's always game, so it's nice to have a big squad today. All right, sun's out. Means stripping a layer or two. And snotty boy Heyman. How's that snot? It's all coming flushing out now. <sighs> Stop number one, we're at 2200 meters, and there's some orange juice. Woohoo! Ah, shukran. Shukran. Mmm. Wow. Oranges are still mm. cold from the morning. Yeah, mm. sweet. Very good. We will take one more, I think. Washroom options on the hike are side of the mountain or one of these guys. Haven't seen one of these since Southeast Asia days, but I know my way around a squatter. <laughs> Have fun. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Squad rolling out. I feel like hiking is the only time I allow myself candy before lunchtime. Yeah, right, candy anytime. <laughs> we made it to a little checkpoint. They're checking our passports. We didn't actually bring the real passport, so we just have a photo on our phone. And the police officer is going like this. <laughs> I think he's checking out all our pics. Both, both. Mohammed is recently divorced, so he's looking for a new wife. And he's got eyes on back, but. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> But, uh, <laughs> leave a comment below well, if you're interested in what happened. Like let's go. Let's you ready? Go. Let's, let's go. do this. Yeah, let's do it. You say nothing, eh, Aaron? What should I say? You should say, let's go. Let's go. <laughs> I'm starting to think the beginning of this hike was just a little tease. It was quite a bit easier. The last hour we have been going nothing but up, baby. The elevation gain is weighing on my hips. A little bit on my low back from this backpack. But all in all, feeling pretty good. How are you feeling? Pretty psyched. <laughs> yeah! Yeah! That is beautiful. This is life, baby. We made it to our tea and coffee stop at the elevation of 2,850 meters. Mohammed is doing a very good job in his quest to become my husband. Look at this. Mohammed, you will get no tips today. <laughs> no way. Okay, Mohammed, Bominos! Bominos, you need to pay for... Oh yeah, of course. Okay. I got you. Yeah. <laughs> We've fallen behind the pack here. Breathing's getting a bit tricky, but apparently the refuge is only an hour away, so... Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Yay! Look at Lucky! The refuge. It's the last 10%. Oh, it's always the hardest. We're approximately 3,200, and I'm feeling good. Breathing is a little heavy, but I would say this is very accessible if you're interested in the challenge. And if you're not so confident, there's always donkeys that can help you. Come on, we're almost there. So close. Almost. Yeah, so close. baby. Come on, this is the refuge dance. Yeah. Come on. <laughs> whoop, whoop, whoop. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Stir it up. <laughs> Stir it up. <laughs> Stir it up. <laughs> Let's go. Ten more minutes. Welcome to home for the evening. This is camp. Welcome to the refuge. It's located at 3,207 meters, so nice place before the summit. Is that food we smell? Mm. For me, this is the absolute highlight of a long hiking day. <sighs> Ladies, it's like taking your bra off at the end of the day. Oh! And they even supply slippers here. 
Okay, it's gotten quick. No more sun. Put on some more layers and now we're gonna go find our home. This is where we sleep? This is where we sleep. Slumber party! Slumber party! No way! Yes. Excellent. Where are the blankets? <laughs> we have blankets for blankets. These guys, oh, these guys decided we... not to bring sleeping bags, they brought something else. <laughs> Priorities, huh? Priorities. Getting cozy by the fire makes us feel like we're experiencing winter in Canada at the cabin. Oh, if we could just transport there. Surprise! <laughs> we're here to say that we have new limited edition merch now available. It's all about those warm, cozy cabin vibes. We've got hoodies. And t-shirts. And sweats. And vests. And beanies. And candles. And a blanket. Yeah! We think you're gonna love this stuff, so head to aimandbeck.com because we've got limited quantities and shop now. But wait, the best part is we're donating 50% of all of our profit to an amazing organization. This time it's Team C's. Team C's mission is to clean up 30 million pounds of trash from the ocean. They've guaranteed that for every one dollar we raise, one pound of trash will be removed from the ocean. So head to aiminandbeck.com and now back to Tuco. I am ready to eat and sleep. Fix on fat dick. Ich brauche sehr viel Tashim. I'm tired. Are they speaking German? <laughs> We're gonna have a quick tagine and then hit the sheets all together. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Good night, beautiful boys. Oh man, this is how you cut up for the night. <laughs> we got Jackie to keep us warm. We stole Jackie. <laughs> we'll see you guys in the morning, bright and early. Good morning. Good morning. Not much of a snooze last night. It's the biggest adult slumber party I've had in a really long time. Normally hostels have like a bed and then a little space. This was all just one big bed. I woke up to pee three times. <laughs> and the reason we're up at 4 a.m. is because we have to climb the elevation we did yesterday in two hours this morning if we want to see the sunrise over the summit. Really? Really. We are leaving the refuge behind. Here goes nothing. We got a long way up. You can just barely see the lights going along the mountain. Mindset. It's all a mindset. Oh, feeling tired. The time is quarter to six in the morning. Mohammed reckons we've done about 250 meters in elevation. Squad is feeling good. Woo! <laughs> yeah, so we are in halfway to the summit. More than 3,600 meters. Yeah! Everyone doing well. Yeah! Yes, dude. <laughs> Kara and Nate's last vlog, they like climbed Everest or something. And they were saying they had a mantra going. And I got tough, so I've got a little mantra going. You are healthy. You are strong. You are a champion. And it's getting me through this climb. Oh, oh my God. I had my head down, just step after step, just trying to make it here. I didn't even, I didn't take it in. <laughs> I can't feel my fingers. Well, we didn't quite make it for sunrise. The sun is popping. 30 more minutes and then we're at the top. I can't remember the last time we challenged ourselves physically, mentally. It feels really good. I'm moving so slow. But I'm almost there. It's very hard to breathe. See the triangle at the top? That's the peak. Come on, buddy! Yes, bro. Give me there. Yes, bro. <laughs> Woo! Ah, yalla, yalla, yalla. Ah, so proud of you. 
Oh my god, this is incredible. Amazing. Soak it up. I am. We just earned this. <laughs> And as mentioned, the Eagle Squad are flying home. And that is how we do it! <laughs> well, I'll be honest, we uh, forgot about you guys. The uh, descent was challenging. That was the longest 13 hours I think I've ever had. Congratulations, everybody. <laughs> Thank the you, energy Mohammed. level! Woo Thank you, Mohammed. Best part is, Mohammed's mom has invited us for a tagine, so. We don't even have to cook tonight. Oh, salsa fresca. Wow, this looks nice. Okay, look at the juice. You don't do this for all your guests, do you? The ones you like. Yeah, of course. <laughs> yeah. Cheers.